Okay, you fan. Can you help us uh, order the food here today? Check this out. Duck cherry, yummy. Duck <laughs> orange, duck orange, yummy. Duck no, noodle. This is yummy. meat. This is meat? Yeah. Is that meat? Uh, no, if that's meat, no, what's this? Oh, I, I think extra no, meat. Extra three, meat. Six times. Duck with rice? A beer? Oh, duck with mushrooms? This must be fried eggs. Must be fried eggs. Coke? Beer? Wine? And duck shopping. <laughs> <laughs> May I explain the menu for you? Sure, sure. These are duck noodles ramen. Okay. These are dipping noodles ramen. Okay. Dipping noodles have two kinds, cherry sauce and orange sauce, for the meat sauce. A normal noodle and the dipping noodle have two-piece duck. You can choose both meat or thigh meat. Smiley mac have five-piece duck and a boiled egg. Okay. This one can choose both thigh or meat. Additional topping, duck meat, egg, mushroom and tofu. Duck rice and the yolk and drinks. Take away the meat and the spice. Your fan's description was pretty close, pretty close. Pretty cool how they just prepare everything right in front of you. And you So what you're supposed to do is take the noodles here and dip it into the sauce and eat it. So it's a different type of ramen. This is ramen, right? Ramen, right? Oh. No, I don't think so, eh? Yeah, I ordered the truffle with wine, just a, something different. Mm. For his bite guys. And in Japan here, you, swear, you have to like really slurp it up just to uh, tell the chef that it's that good. Mmm, the noodles are amazing. Wow, the soup, wow. Mm. So you take the, the duck breast, and there's a garnish, a little bit redder garnish here, which is like a cherry sauce. It's what's in. Mm. Mm. So the duck is, um, the duck is roast duck. Roast. But yeah. I'll try this with sauce. I'll try the cherry sauce. Wow. 
the breast is not um, it's not um, dry. It's very very juicy and tender. All right, boys and girls. So, so that's pretty much it for Japan's vlog. Just closing out the vlog now. I'll explain to you guys later when we get inside. We uh, upgraded to what is it called, Johnny? Signature class. Air Canada signature class. But I'll show you guys when we get in. Six A. Down this one here. Or, uh, yeah, I'll take eight, Johnny's fine. Yeah. 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 Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Okay. Here we go. How are you? I'm good, yourself? Good, I can help you to put your luggage here, okay? It so is. Six G. Six G. Yeah. So it's gonna be. Uh, my son's on D, anyways. Uh, D. Which one are you, Johnny? D is here. So G is over there. Yeah. So I'll take this one and then. Okay, I'll go that side. So G and I on the way home, we got an email from Air Canada saying that uh, you can bid for to upgrade your seat. Uh, there's premium economy, and then this is the signature uh, signature class. So we, you know what, we decided to take. You know what, just just let's go for it. Let's treat ourselves. I just uh, put in the minimum bid, and it was roughly around 1,200 bucks per seat. Then we got a notification that we uh, won the bid. We got luck, maybe it's the luck of the draw. I've gotten before, but I've never tried to bid. So this is my first time doing it, and it's quite a little bit overwhelming. So uh, G sitting over there right now. Because <laughs> I've never been in this uh, part of the plane, like in the front. And as soon as you sit in, it's like, so much stuff around here like don't know where to put your stuff because normally I just put it on top my carry-on and then my camera bag normally under the seat but here you got here 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 over there over here over here and uh, as soon as I got in they gave me sparkling wine or sparkling water so I chose water and then your regular water and of course you got slippers, headphones, and then this overlong flights, you get this package here, which comes with, um, let, let, me, let me open it up for you guys. Personally, I like this, I like the slippers. Slippers are, are nice. I usually use the Crocs, but uh, let's see what we got here. There you got your eye patch, socks, pretty nice. Feels pretty good too. What the hell is this? Oh, hand cream. I think this is for your eyeglasses, your earplugs, toothbrush. Good. I'm put that away for now. Uh, I'll give you guys a, a view of everything here. I got my own personal screen. Massive too. That's my hand. Lab. Massive. That's where I'm sitting. G6. And then in here is just another little cubby. I'll put everything in there. Got my own controller. And a blanket or a pillow. Blanket and a shelf to put everything in there. More shelving here, and they put this personal seat cover. And I think this is for light. Yeah, oh yeah. More lights. After we got all settled in, they gave me the menu. Let's go over it. I think I'm gonna go for the beef, beef fillet, beef fillet. So we're about 10 minutes into the flight. I decided to put on a move for myself. The earphones are the supply. It's pretty deep, pretty decent. They're pretty thick compared to the ones in the economy. They have like some noise cancellation, but really comfortable. Also, they started out with a bowl of nuts. Got some almonds in there. And I got myself a Mott's Clamato, spicy Clamato juice. Great, right, so originally I thought this was dinner, but this is apparently appetizers. Prosciutto with cheese, garlic bread, and salad. Got some uh, vinaigrette here for my salad. And look at, look at how cute these two uh, salt and pepper shakers are. Yummy. Let's try the garlic bread. The garlic bread could be a little better. A little on the hard side. Okay, let's try the prosciutto. Mm, so yummy. Mm. 
I really wanted the beef fillet, but they ran out because they started on the left hand side and worked their way over to the left, to the right. So the only thing left over was cod and chicken breast. So I decided to go with the chicken breast. So we got chicken breast, we got broccoli. I think these are scallops, nice, nice, and mushrooms. Mr. Big G over there, he was so lucky. He got a steak, oh man. Show him the steak, Johnny. Oh, he has headphones on, he can't hear. Oh, you wanna see mine? <laughs> Come on, man, be laughing. I shouldn't be complaining, but this is way better than the economy. But uh, it's actually pretty decent, guys. Looks so good. I'm pretty sure there is even better than this because this is just Air Canada. Eva Air or Cathay Pacific, it's gotta be better than this, guys. Dip some of this. Try the scallop. Mm. Sorry, it's not scallop, it's just um, some sort of dough. It really fooled me, it looked like a scallop, but... Alright guys, so to finish off the dinner, I went and chose cheese and crackers with dried fruit, prune, apricot, and a date. And of course I finished off with the cheesecake. We had a choice between a cheesecake and uh, fresh fruits. I already had fresh fruit before, so I went with the cheesecake. And to finish it all off, a nice cup of cappuccino. I had other offerings like uh, coffee, tea, and espresso, but I went with the cappuccino. Finish it all off. Let's try this. All right, guys, not gonna lie, this really reminds me of going to the dentist, sitting in the dentist chair when they're like laying you down. So you pretty much, if uh, going to the dentist is not your thing, this is not your uh, cup of tea, you guys. You're overpaid to go to the dentist. Oh, it really lays all the way down. <laughs> That's all the way. Holy. Okay, can I get a pillow? Oh, I can get used to this. All right, guys, good night. I'm gonna go take a nap. We'll see you guys in the morning. Look at him, like laying there. Good morning, guys. So I'm not gonna lie, that's probably the, the best sleep I've ever had on an airplane. Slept about rough, roughly about six hours. Uh, we got about an hour and a half to go so we land in Vancouver. They're just about to serve breakfast. Thought I missed it because I slept throughout the whole thing. I woke up and there's like a white cloth on my tray table. That means they're gonna serve breakfast. To be honest, I thought I, I missed it, but thank God we didn't. I wanna show you guys what we're gonna have for breakfast. Don't really know what it is yet, but let's see what it is. All right, breakfast is served. So this is what first class breakfast looks like. So we got fresh strawberry yogurt with apple crumble. Fresh fruit, looks amazing. Butter croissant, sausage and eggs with uh, potatoes and looks like beans and potato, or beans and tomato and a broccoli. Not really the biggest fan, but it'll do you guys. But that's what breakfast is on uh, first class, Air Canada. Okay, the front's a little on the dry side. Try eat real good, but I'm gonna mix it up. Yogurt, yeah, really good. Fresh strawberries, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Jeez, he decided to go with a sukiyaki beef. <laughs> and, a, and a boiled egg. So let's talk about the Air Canada Signature Suite experience, or they call it now, business class. So I paid a fraction of the price because I did a quick Google, just a comparison-wise, to see how much this seat actually cost on the retail market. Going from the dates that I went, it costs anywhere from 6,000 all the way up to 13,000 Canadian. It's a great experience for what I paid for or what I got it for, which is my base airfare, economy class, and then the bid that I got. It ended up being 2,800 bucks. So it's half the price, less than half the price of what the base airfare is for a signature class, which is 
The cheapest I found was 5,800 bucks Canadian. So let's say six grand. All the way up to like 13 grand. So is it worth it? Yes. 2,800 bucks? Yes. Five grand? Six grand? No. But you know, to be honest, that was probably the best sleep I've ever had on an airplane by far. The reason is I was able to lay down flat and sleep. Every other flight I've done, long haul wise, short haul, I cannot sleep on an airplane, literally sitting straight up. If you can get it for cheap, go for it, you guys. But if you can't, I wouldn't recommend it. We'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification. See you guys. See ya.